Good morning, everyone. Jay here. Uh, just a quick update on my 112th scale APC uh, scratch building out of styrene. I uh, got a couple of classified figures there for, for scale, but um, everything's coming along pretty nicely. Got the entire exterior now completed, uh, the frame at least. Uh, I'm still working on the, the rail gun and just a couple of quick details. Uh, and then we'll be ready to paint. Uh, here I am kind of working on some of the initial uh, pieces of the first railgun concept that I had it ended up being too big and I scrapped it But I'm gonna go back to it and I kind of wanted to show real quick the process of cutting styrene I uh, score styrene you score styrene you don't cut it um, So you, what I'm doing here is using a metal ruler as a guide after I've measured it out and I'm taking the back of an exacto knife to uh, Scratch it to score it a few times until I've made a groove in it and then after I've got a a little bit of a score to it, you can just bend styrene in half and it'll break off into smooth edges. Uh, if you have a little bit of rough edges, you can clean them up really easy just by filing it down. But that's pretty much how the process of cutting styrene goes. Um, pretty simple, straightforward. Um, here is the final final concept for the rail for the rail gun that I came up with. You can see these two slots that I've glued already to the back and the top of the APC that these two end pieces slide into securely and snugly and then the actual uh, railgun itself is going to glide and slide along this track once it's built up. You see these two X's on the back of the, the APC are also two additional slots that the roof slides into and the front of the roof now pops into place so that now the roof is totally secure, not going anywhere and it's totally built up. Here's some supports I put in to give the strength some additional strength to the roof and then I'll add a little bit of detail here and there to it and then I'm going to go ahead and slide it back in place it's real snug so you got to get it just right but that's actually how I wanted it once it slides in the front pops in and I'm good to go it's all in place it's in securely uh, started painting some of the small minor interior parts like this is Lieutenant Gorman's Lieutenant Gorman's chair that will have to be glued into place on its own track once the rest of the vehicle is painted. I, here I am uh, chem welding the two pieces of uh, two millimeter styrene for the roof to make it stronger. I had to do it separately this way. Um, here is the first concept of the, the railgun to make the articulation. So what I have is just a, a styrene tube that I've drilled, I've cut down and then I've drilled holes into the the other flat pieces of styrene and stuck it through and then I put washers that I glued into place on each side. Now I've got two pieces that can move independently of each other. So that bottom corrugated part is going to be the part that actually slides along the rail system and then the top once that's built up together it's going to be the actual rail gun itself. No, I actually screwed up and made this too big and I'm actually redoing it right now. Um, not all these things work out. And this was my initial rail uh, with a prefabricated uh, piece of uh, iframe styrene. I tried everything to heat this stuff up with uh, hot water, heater, a blow dryer. Nothing really worked well to get it to bend right. And flame just burns it too quickly and does damage. But I didn't throw it away. I just added it to my bits box. And here I am digging through my, my spare bits box looking for a long piece to cut down a size to fit another piece of this uh, this rail gun that I was putting together and luckily since I didn't throw anything away somehow I had a piece that lined up and was the exact same size that I needed for the side of the, the rail gun for the base of the rail gun so just a just a little heads up there don't throw anything away because you never know when something might be exactly what you're looking for and that's what this was here is a video of how my door works, my egress door. I've got three grooves and three double pegs. We'll have another piece glued on top and it just glides alongside it. Measure it out, cut it down to size. And you see I've drilled in holes on the corners and glued in magnets. You can see the magnets pop and hold it into place. Um, I didn't take as many videos as I wanted to initially, but here's some pictures I took of the concept and the, the the concept process. Some blueprints, measuring out, building up for the first time cardboard, 
uh, measuring it all out, figuring out how much room I would need for how many troops I want in the desk, the additional drivers, things like that. Snake eyes in the doorway right there. Um, I got an idea of just how big I would need it to be, and if it was impossible to build something this big for the first time. And it was, it ended up being okay. We were figuring out how big the wheels would have to be. Um, I did tape it together once I started cutting out the frame, gluing it together, and putting in some additional supports to make sure everything was, was strong. I wanted it, to be, wanted it to be really strong all the way around. The, the funny thing with building up and gluing styrene is that when you chem weld it, it can take overnight for it to dry and, and, and blend together, to, to, to weld together. And sometimes you just gotta find anything you can that's heavy to keep the pieces down, way down uh, together. Uh, here I have a Valiverse uh, Desert Rat figure standing next to the APC on its end. It's actually a little bit longer now, now that I built up the back. I've got the wheel on there, but you can get a scale for just how big or tall this thing is going to be. I think it's actually a little bit taller than the Marvel Legends Sentinel. Um, finally, here is a first road test of once my wheels are on, they're all aligned, everything is level, they're all moving independently, and they all glide smoothly. And I was really happy that it rolled. And then one last quick um, flyover, a mind bender there, just for scale. Roof's done, body's done, back's done. The rail concept is working. Just need to build up the gun, a couple of quick minor pieces, and then once I get a just a warm, non-windy day, I'll go out there, spray paint it, prime it, and do the finish. But thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. And hopefully more. Uh, updates coming sooner. Thank you so much.